Hey everyone, we're here with another video, and today is more so of a not a great video in terms of I don't know. I think uh, well, let's just start it off. I got I got COVID. There's a rapid test place near us. They do a rapid test, so they send you a text message after 15 minutes after they do the test, and then they also take another sample and get that tested for a PCR test. So when I went there. Tuesday, the rapid test came back negative, and then I just got the results today on Thursday uh, of the PCR test, which was positive. And Wednesday, I went for another test because I felt awful on Tuesday, and I came back with the rapid test, which was positive, and then if the rapid test is positive, they don't send it off to get a PCR test. So. With that said, it makes sense to continue doing a PCR test and a rapid test just because it seems that uh, a rapid test, again, may not give you all that you need. Um, but if you start feeling symptomatic, typically you'll start testing positive on those rapid tests. So, yeah. So Tuesday, uh, Monday I had done a arm workout with my wife and <laughs> uh, like I was so sore on Tuesday like every joint every like part of my body like randomly like my butt cheeks were like uh, they, everything was hurting so I don't know what the whole premise was like I thought it was possible because I was using my arms a lot I did some sanding I was cutting some wood so like I thought it was possibly a multitude of different things and also possibly because I was sanding without a mask on and it might have gone into my sinuses, so I might have had issues with that. It turns out it was just COVID, so uh, there's that. Um, and symptoms, so achy body, uh, fever. I had 102 fever earlier today um, and I'll get to like sort of what I've been taking to sort of combat that. Achy body, fever, uh, chills, runny nose, sore throat, cough, sort of all of the above. Everything that really has to do with COVID. I haven't really had trouble like breathing or anything, but other than like being congested, like that's really what's been tough in terms of breathing. We have this Delsum, which essentially is great for coughs. Um, it's a cough suppressant specifically. so. That's what's been helping me be able to sleep at night because I haven't just been coughing all night. And then there's the savior, uh, this, the extra strength Tylenol. Yeah, this is essentially what's been keeping my uh, fever down. So again, I said this morning I had 102 fever, woke up with a cold sweat. So uh, last night I didn't actually take any Tylenol because I was like, okay, well, if I don't have a fever, it doesn't make sense to take Tylenol. now. I'm somebody who really doesn't take much of any over-the-counter stuff, so uh, Delsum and this Tylenol, the pain reliever, which the CDC sort of agrees with. If you get COVID, you should probably take uh, the pain reliever. So yeah, that's been working really well. And basically when I've taken it, I felt really good afterwards in terms of not feeling soreness and not really feeling like the inherent like complete like tiredness and honestly it's actually made me feel like I don't want to say refreshed but it essentially makes me feel awake like more awake than I have felt like when I'm not sick so even being like every single vaccination that I could get boosted so on and so forth you know I've still been hit hard with this and again I'm a 34 year old quite good health so you know after three years of doing all the safety precautions, everything that you're supposed to do. I don't know where I specifically got it. Like we were actually in uh, the ER for like 12 hours straight. So it's very possible I could have gotten it there. I don't really know the ins and outs of how long it would take to be symptomatic and so on and so forth. But I was testing uh, earlier last week on the 17th, um, got a rapid test and PCR test the week before I started feeling symptoms on Tuesday. Uh, so that was all negative. So, you know, I don't know if anything was brewing up from the prior week, but uh, overall, yeah, it's just been not great. And I definitely don't recommend, like, uh, I think 
some people are like, you know, um, this isn't a big deal. Uh, and it may not be life threatening, but it, like, it's definitely the worst that I've felt sickness wise, probably in my entire adult life. So with that said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. And also maybe a long-term update on, you know, if, if I have any long-term effects of COVID. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.